Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly Soaps Roundup and we're rolling into 2020 with new hopes and dreams for the coming year. And speaking of hopes and dreams, there's lots of that going around on the soaps, some of which will come true and some of which will be dashed. Okay, first on the bold and the beautiful, Thomas, of course, was thrilled to be working with Hope on her new line, while Steffi remained concerned that Thomas was still obsessing over Hope. Hello, of course he is, and Brooke learned Steffi hired Zoe to keep an eye on Thomas for her and Liam, and Thomas continued to try and convince everyone that he had moved on with Zoe, but even Zoe wasn't sure if he was using her. In other words, Zoe is not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, you guys. Coming up, Shauna learns Thomas' secret. Now, on Days of Our Lives, JJ confessed his addiction problems to his family because there's no better time to tell your loved ones you're an addict than during the holidays. Okay, both Eve and Hattie were released from prison and Eve crashed the Horton Tree decorating ceremony to reveal she was leaving Salem. Steve, aka Stefano, disguised himself as Santa to stalk Marlene at the hospital Christmas celebration and slipped a gift into her purse. So now Santa's a stalker? Is there nothing sacred on these shows? And Kristen and Lonnie made their way back to Salem where a furious Lonnie vandalized Gabby's storefront window. Coming up, Steve reveals himself on New Year's. Well, that's better than exposing himself. Okay, over on General Hospital, the corny Christmas fantasy scene continued as residents of Port Charles reenacted a Christmas carol as Monica read the story to the children spending the holiday at General Hospital. Now, Franco returned home for the holidays with his memories intact, and Sonny invited his father's cousin Gladys to spend the holiday with his family. Tracy Quartermain returned to surprise her family, only to be shocked by a completely redecorated Quartermain mansion. And Sam was paroled on Christmas Eve. Coming up, Sonny demands to know what Carly is keeping from him. And finally, you guys, on The Young and the Restless, where quite frankly, the plots are starting to make me get restless. Summer accused Theo of being obsessed with Kyle and wanting his life, including Lola. And Billy, yes, Billy started gambling again and spending more time with Amanda. How many times are they gonna go back to the Billy gambling plot at some point? You gotta figure out something a little more interesting and less predictable for our beloved character to do. Meanwhile, in typical soaps fashion, Faith, who now has somehow miraculously aged at least six years in the last 12 months and is a full-blown teenager, returned home from boarding school for the holidays and Ben was out of rehab and surprised Lauren and Michael at the Abbott family Christmas. So let me guess, we're now gonna have all kinds of teen troubles going on on the show. And in a plot that shocks absolutely nobody, Adam professed his love to Chelsea and believed she still had feelings for him. Meanwhile, Phyllis confessed to Nick that Adam asked her to seduce him and coming up, Nick realizes he's losing Chelsea. So that leaves us wondering, is he gonna end up in bed with Phyllis or Sharon again? That's it for this week. We'll see you guys next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.